here we are once again you thought it was over <laughs> please we're only just beginning 2019 2020 nba city edition jerseys tier list let's go okay got some great ones got some not so great ones got some never changed from the beginning some improvements some stinkers uh, let's just get into it no particular order we're just grabbing them and going Let's start with the Clippers. Um, I think I'll see you here. Very much uh, Los Santos customs type font. Of course, it looks like the Los Angeles Times logo. It's just nothing, nothing crazy about that. It's nothing spectacular. Nothing uh, game changing. Nothing life changing. It's just a jersey. Nothing, nothing too special about it. Miami Heat. This is another iteration of their Vice jerseys. A little controversial. I'm gonna put him at A. I mean, it's a good jersey. I'll be honest. It's just uh, I'm not loving the blue. To be completely honest, doesn't really do it for me. I know they went through like every other color at this point, but the blue just isn't really hitting for me as as a primary color of the jersey. I really want to put it. I kind of want to put it S, but I I really can't. I feel like I can't. Boston is a uh, I will beat here. Yeah, because it is it is very, it's very very Celtic, very Celtic, Celtic, Celtic. You know, I, as a jersey, it doesn't really work. But you know, when you think of when you think of Celtics, think of leprechauns. Boom. So I think it works for what it is. Sacramento. Ah, uh, dude, I do not love these. I'm gonna go D. Cause it's just the color, like the light blue worked at the time. The sack town still doesn't really work. But the light blue still works. The red as a primary color does not work. So that's just that's where that's gotta go, man. I don't I do not love it. I fully forgot they went all red. Oof. New York Knicks. We're gonna put them at C. Again, it's nothing. The jersey isn't anything special. It's not not a life changing jersey to have, but it's not awful. So it's just kind of just kind of there. The Brooklyn Nets. Um, I'm gonna go A for now. I I, I might put this at S, but I kind of like A where it is. Best Stuy goes another very much part of the neighborhood of of, of Best Stuy in Brooklyn and all that. Again with the the Coogee on the sides, really works. If it still said just Brooklyn, I would probably just put it S to immediately. Uh, nothing against the Best Stuy part, just eh, not in love with it. Philadelphia. I gotta go S tier. It's it's the same thing I as the uh, 2017 18 ones. That that cream white with that that text on it. I mean it's it's that that oldie look. The difference between here is this one. The difference between this one and the other one is this is like going all in on that old timey old throwback look to it, and I freaking love it. I'm all for it. I want this jersey so bad. It's, it's a solid jersey. Cleveland. Oh. I'll go C for the time being. I it's not going any higher. It'll probably go lower, not higher though. I don't like it. I, no, I, I don't. I don't love it. Uh, they. I think they tried to do this year what they did the past year and tried to do like a throwback type thing, but it's, it's still just not quite there. Bucks. Um, I can I can go A. I like the Cream City jerseys. It looks nice. You know, not much to say about it. Go ahead and make your jokes. We got Sack Town and Cream City. Go ahead and make your jokes in the comments if you want. But I think it's a it's a solid jersey. Oklahoma City. What I'm about to say is going to be controversial simply because of the uh, of why the jersey exists and the context. Again, I said in the other two videos the significance uh, culturally, historically. I'm not looking at. It. I'm just looking at how the jersey looks on its own. I gotta go D. I don't care for the design. And I know it's, it's 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 controversial because of the significance of the jersey and of the look. I don't care for it though. Pistons. This is my this this has been my enemy for a while. With these jerseys, I've always been my D for boor, for being boring. But, 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 as as not great looking as it is, <laughs> I gotta go see. It's an improvement. They're adding life to it. They're adding color. I still don't love that stripe down the middle. I think the colors still suck on it, but it's, I mean, compared to what they had the past two years, this is D. 
decent. Ooh, this Trailblazers one is kind of solid. Again, sucker for this color. I'm sucker for throwback looking jerseys. It's definitely not, I don't think it's S tier. You know, it has like that the throwback vibes. I gotta go A on that. I like it. I like it a lot. Suns? I can go B. I like I like it. It it did definitely add. They 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 keep improving on this jersey and I love it every every time. Once again it's the little Suns. Same old, same old. But they keep improving on it. It went from just straight purple to they threw some orange and black in there. Now it's black and they still got orange and some purple in there. It's definitely an improvement on the other jerseys. I like it as jersey. It's a good jersey. Definitely not my favorite, but it's a it's a decent jersey. So I definitely, I, I think B tier works. I don't think it's good enough to be A tier. I mean, you can make the argument for it to be A tier. Totally fine. I would, I would hear you out. But uh, I don't know. I like where, I like where does it be? They got it right. A tier without a, you know what? Screw it. S tier. Holy cow. That's a great jersey. They freaking did it. They improved on it. They don't have the District of Columbia there anymore. It says DC. It's got like a, it's not a nice alternate logo for them. Don't need to go any, don't need to really do any more than that. But they did. There's a nice trim on the sides. Holy crap, that looks great. You know, that, you know, puts through some color in there, so it's not just a white jersey with white lettering and stuff. They put they put the blue DC with the red basketball and the red eight or the red number. I like it. It's a great. It's very American. <laughs> the best thing I can say about it. Uh, Pacers. I think it's B. Yeah, yeah. And so this is they they brought back this design that I loved uh, from the 2017 2018 jerseys. I love these uh, when they were like blue and had yellow and stuff in there. They're white now. Took a lot of the life out of it because it's just it's mainly blue and blue and white with a little bit of yellow. But as far as design goes, I still like it. So it's definitely not A, but <laughs> it's not C. But I like it at B. Uh, Chicago Bulls, woof! Oh man, now, I know I said I liked the colors, and I'm sure many people did, but I think they flew a little close to the sun with this one. Uh, do I put it at D or F? I'm gonna go F. I don't know if it's really F, but it's I don't like it. If I think if they would have left the bull logo alone, I could see it being C or D. But the fact that they made that bull, they there's no black in there there's there's barely any white it's too blue and red and just as the as on the logo it does not work hey it's a uh, post-production captain random here in the editing booth uh, while working on this video i just want to let you know you have a new uh new shop out right now i made some made some t-shirts uh it's not not merch not youtube merch believe me i'm not at the point where i can do youtube merch and it makes sense uh, maybe one day, just not now. Uh, it's just shirts that I made. I designed them myself and put them on put them online for people to look at and buy. Uh, it's an Etsy store right now, but if it if if things go well, people start buying. I'll I'll probably make its own web uh probably make a website specifically for for that. Right now, there's like seven shirts on there. Um, there are more more designs on the way that I'm working on. Pretty proud of them. I'm excited to. For everyone to look at it um yeah check it out if you'd like links in the description uh there's there, there's a shirt right there that's one that i made oh oh there's another that one's a good one <laughs> that one's a good one uh and then also that's also another shirt that i made that one's pretty cool uh but yeah just if you want to check it out links in the description give it a give it a look see lakers i think it's a b tier yeah it's 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 a decent jersey an improvement on the, uh, from the last one it's it's very bright uh it could use a little more purple to it i think um if you would like put purple on the sides instead of just having yellow it could be an a tier easily but i mean it, it's not nothing's clashing you know it's not bright colors on bright colors or dark on dark you know because like when you yeah you have the yellow but then you either have straight purple or you have white lettering with purple outlines. And even like the, the purple like drop shadow, I think looks really nice here. I, I, I feel comfortable with that being at B. 
Utah, tried and true. That's in the S tier without a doubt. Uh, I might move it to A tier. I don't know. I like it at S right now though. New Orleans, um, I can go A. Again, it's the same jersey as the last as uh year prior, but it's still it's still good. It's still simple, but works. Still a good jersey. Nuggets, easy S. Holy cow, this is like the previous years, but better. Because that mountain on there, I mean, the mountain and the rainbow really pop on this. As well as, I mean, anything white on here pops, as well as the rainbow. Just works. It, it looks so much better. The white was was great. Of course, it was S tier. This right here is, is, is infinitely better. Now, again, not like the other one was bad, but this is definitely... You've improved on something that was already amazing. You you deserve an S tier. Top tier jersey right here. Charlotte. Ooh. Mm. I gotta go D on here. Yeah, you know, I'll go C. Yeah, I think C's fine. It's just kind of boring. It again, can we stop with the just the, the light gray jerseys? What do you get out of it? Like, why are you just making every freaking jersey just gray and then throw uh, throw a few of your colors in there? Just making making it gray. And again, why? Why why with the letter and the number and being different colors and being very different colors is the big issue. Like, this is fine. This works. Or like even here or here. Or even here. This doesn't, though. I mean, it's mainly the fact that the white clashes with the, with the gray. Hmm. And that, I'm sick of these abbreviations here. When Dallas did it, when Charlotte does it, when Cleveland does it, I don't care for it. It's just nothing. It's not great. Mavericks, F. Why? This is disgusting. This is an abomination. This is absolutely atrocious. Like this is just this is bad. First of all, the gradient, which sucks. This is such a it's such a bad gradient. Ugh, the gradient's not good. And I, I know I said I like the neon green. This is this is too much. This is more lime. Yeah, it's more lime green than neon green. That and it clashes with the white. Oof. Ugh. And let's not even get started on that graffiti font. Ugh. Yeah, there's too much to, to complain about here. It's an ugly jersey. Orlando. Orlando, Orlando. Ah, I'm feeling B. I don't think I can go higher than that. I, I, I think the orange and black work. I don't know if the ORL does. For Orlando, again, we're back to the... Just the abbreviations. Come on, guys. Be creative. Come on. <laughs> I, I get it, but come on. But no, back to the to what I like about it. I like the orange. Florida is the the orange state. That's their their big thing is oranges, much like Atlanta is with peaches. It it works. But, uh, speaking of Atlanta and peaches, Atlanta S tier. I remember when I first saw them, I didn't care for them mainly the peach tree part, but the the that peach color with mixed with the black and white looks really freaking good my goodness what a what a great jersey this is a really nice jersey i think it's a, i think it's kind of unappreciated very very atlanta very I think, yeah i think it's, this jersey is really nice Ugh, rockets it's not a bad jersey again i spurs fan i always wanted to be like f tier every time but it's not a bad jersey um last year's was def the years prior was definitely better but uh this is okay it's I think it's a jersey design. It could design it could be better. I like the uh, NASA, the sort of space city thing they're going for. But uh, I think it's B. It's 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 okay. Not great. This leads me to being depressed. Spurs again. Diehard Spurs fan. I don't want to say anything bad, but D. Ah, this hurts so much. You don't you don't understand. But I I I can't put them anywhere else. Just like I said before, unless they're an S tier jersey like like Utah's or even an A tier like like New Orleans, it, I, it was never like a top tier jersey. And the fact that they never changed it for so long, it, it just keeps moving down because everything else is improving, and this one just doesn't. Let's go Warriors. I think it's a B tier. You know what? Screw it. A tier. I like it. It's a it's a, it's a decent jersey. Um. I think could use some color if you threw some like yellow in there. Ooh, buddy, that could be a, you. You have a great jersey there. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. Actually, I also I want to um I want to rant a little bit. 
because this same year they have jerseys that say the bay as well as rollback jerseys that say the city what are they what are they truly known as i know they are the bay um but like what are, you, what are you really known as at this point <laughs> like make your mind dude anyway rent over yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a nice jersey can't complain pretty decent uh, actually, I could complain a little bit. Yeah, and if you had like a little bit of yellow in there, this could this could definitely be a probably still an A, but probably move to S. Actually, I might. Uh, yeah, it's B. Yeah, if you throw some yellow in there, it could definitely be an A, pushing S, but definitely an A. Uh, yeah, B is where B is where it belongs. Minnesota. Oof. I'm gonna go D. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. Again, it's the MSP Minneapolis St. Paul. Y'all gotta chill with all this, dude. My goodness, just freaking puts your your team name. I don't know the the, the light. The that's a very very light blue. It's like almost Carolina. It might actually be Carolina blue at this point. And there's just it's a boring one. Nothing special about it. Last but certainly not least, Toronto. Easy S. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting so long for them just to get that gold and black design just right and they freaking did it i love the toronto font on there very very i mean it's definitely very reminiscent of i can't remember if jurassic park but definitely kind of reminiscent of like old logos like they're they're old they're old logo that everyone loves so much but you got that with the black and gold oh oh you you know you know how to get me, you know how to reel me in, you know, because you were flirting with A and B tier for a while, and then here you are at S tier. Finally, wait for this. Per the usual, I did some rearranging because of course I can't 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 uh make my mind. So yeah, this is this is the my definitive list. Um. Brooklyn's moved up. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Brooklyn's moved up. Suns moved up. I love this jersey. I really like this jersey. This is this is a really nice jersey. Can't 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 uh, can't hate it. Utah. I still love it. But at this point, for doing this for the third year in a row, I, it, it can't be S tier anymore. At some point, it's like all right, get better. <laughs> Do more. Um, no one's moved down. I feel like it wasn't good enough to stay at B or at A. Because it was... Yeah, even though it's a repeat, I still like it. I, eh, it's not, like, the best. It doesn't really have enough going for it to keep it at A. I moved Boston down. It's uh, It doesn't really work. It's not really great as a jersey. Um, I know I kind of explained the significance of it and all, and just what it reminds me of. And it does its job, but it's still not great for a jersey. Uh, Charlotte moved down as well. It's it's not it's not a great jersey. Colors don't really work. It's kind of boring. And it moved down Minnesota and Detroit. Detroit, I was giving I guess I was giving way too much credit because it's still not a it's. I do like that they added more different, more colors to it, but it's really looking at it, it just got worse, honestly. It just got worse. Like, yeah, the, the, the dark blue and gray definitely, I think, look better than the just a solid bright red and blue with, like, no, no white other than the words. And Minnesota's is just not good. Very boring, very, very vanilla, and the color doesn't really work. So yeah, this is uh, this is my list. What I'm ending ending with uh, for this list, kind of what I said from the first video. I didn't say in the last one. These are jerseys. These are jerseys that I would 100% own, and I would love to own one of these. These are jerseys that I wouldn't mind having. You know, if you gave them to me, I'd take it. Uh, these are okay. These are, these are these are decent jerseys. They're not bad. These are okay. Not great. Garbage. So yeah. Um, if you agree to disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd move. And uh, let me know your favorite jersey out of the bunch. Anyways, uh, that's it.